Hi everyone, Angie Smith. I'm an independent sensing consultant. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to my channel. I um, wanted to bring to you my top 10 favorite fall scents out of the Scentsy catalog. So these are from the new catalog released August 1st. So it would be fall winter 2022 season. Um, and these are just the fall scents. I will do one for the winter, but I wanted to um, go through and pick my favorites um, because tomorrow is September 1st and I actually may upload the video tomorrow. So if that's the case, happy September 1st. Um, I plan to probably start warming um, fall scents tomorrow. I uh, still have a lot of my spring and summer scents out. Um, so I, I think I'm going to swap those out. I don't know if you um, do, like we do this because we don't have a ton of closet space, but we'll um, swap out like our fall and winter clothes with our spring and summer. Um, so I feel like that's kind of like what I do with my waxes. I'll just swap those out because I store the fall and winters here in these um, boxes and spring and summer up here, anything else that I would warm you around. And then we're going to swap that so I may do a video just to show you what um, what I have in my fall and winter kind of collection but let's talk about current scents top 10 picks right so when I think of fall I think of you know bonfires I think of pumpkin and apple I think of hoodies I know here it usually for the first start of it like August and September and some of October even it gets cold in the morning it gets super hot in the like afternoon noon to afternoon and then um, cold again at night so we're always dressing in layers uh, because you don't want to be hot in the middle of the day but it's too cold in the morning for just short sleeves so that's fall here in the Midwest so I think I covered all that bonfires, hoodies, pumpkins, apples, leaves turning, um, beautiful colors in the leaves, the felt, the smell of um, like fall air, coat. So I wrote down also warm and cozy scents, um, sweatshirts, hoodies, leaves and trees, apple picking, pumpkin patches. So all of those things make me think of fall. So with that in mind, I picked out my top 10 scents. So I'll just, and I kind of categorized them. So let's talk about bonfires. Bonfires, I think of around the campfire. This is current in the catalog. It's such a beautiful, I say beautiful scent. I love it. It's, um, so like woodsy and campfire and I literally just had the catalog and I lost it but it is in the woods category um this has been around a few seasons it's fantastic it's um scent notes are make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers set the scene so it's just a beautiful like smoky ember like gray wax there is a sweet note in this and i'm not sure what exactly it is but it it's it kind of offsets that woodsy and smoky and this is such an excellent mixer as well you do have to make sure the scent you're mixing it with um, can kind of hold its own though uh, because around the campfire will definitely take over so this is um, definitely in the top 10. If you have not already tried around the campfire, I highly recommend that you check this one out. So going along with bonfires are s'mores. So got to have the graham cracker crunch with your s'mores, right? This um, scent was new to the catalog last season and it returned. It is in the bakery category. It is a fantastic, um, has fantastic performance. It's a great mixer. Um, it's almost like 
peanut butter crackers. Um, definitely a mix to make with s'mores as well with that graham cracker. So um, set notes on this, if it's new to you, a caramelized graham cracker, crunchy peanut butter, and vanilla bean. And it is so much more than that. It is fantastic. It's definitely like the, you get, I feel like my bakeries never wanna pop out. It's fantastic. You definitely get the graham cracker. You get the peanut butter. Everything that I would associate with fall. That's graham cracker crunch. That is, should go on your list to try if you haven't already. And then rounding out my, I guess I'm calling it my bonfire and warm and cozy kind of scent is um, cinnamon buttercream. This is just such a fantastic scent for the fall. It's basically like vanilla bean buttercream with that added like cinnamon note. And it is beautiful. Definitely something foodie wise. You could put it on graham crackers. My mom always made like, like an icing to put on graham crackers. I don't know if you guys have ever made that. And that's kind of what that reminds me of is that you could make that into an icing and put that on top of the graham crackers. So just a thought there. This is cinnamon buttercream. Also in the bakery, it was new last year to the catalog. Returned, it's a good one. Italian buttercream, mascarpone, and cinnamon cake are the scent notes. It's excellent, great for fall. All right, so let's move on to trees and woods in the fall. Definitely, um, you know, the leaves change. There's a different kind of scent in the air. Um, everything reminds me of autumn road trip. This reminds me of just driving in the fall with seeing the different colored leaves and it just has that fall kind of scent to it. This is an oldie but goodie. I'm not sure how many catalog seasons it's been around, but it's been in every catalog season that I've had since E, um, which is like three or four catalog seasons. Uh, this is in, I believe the fruity category. Last year we had uh, um, dish soap and counter clean, which I still have some left over from the sales. I love it. Um, maybe it'll return, but I'm not sure that it will, but it's excellent in everything autumn road and autumn road trip. So yes, in the fruity category, this is take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked anju pear and a forest of towering silver oak. And I don't necessarily get the pear in this, but it may be what's giving it a perfume kind of vibe. But it's definitely like the oak, you get the oak leaves. The, I don't know that necessarily, the apple and pear must do something with the um, almost perfumey vibe. But it is an excellent performer, fantastic. Autumn road trip. Definitely top 10. And then the other scent that I grabbed, which is new to the catalog this year, but it is returning um, from the, I believe it was the, I, don't, I can't remember if it was the harvest or the winter bars, but toasted oak, acorn and oak. Just fantastic. I did not club this, so I'm glad it returned. And you would find this scent in the woods category. Toasted acorns, creamy chestnut, roasted over golden oak. And it's all of that. It's, it's just a fantastic, like, earthy, I guess it's nutty, woodsy, but yet it's creamy. I'm looking forward to mixing this this fall season. So yes, top 10 toasted acorn and oak. All right, next up is 
you know, pumpkin patches, apple orchards, all of that yummy goodness. Bright side of life. This is everything that reminds me of like an apple orchard pumpkin patch type scent. You know, you go to pick apples, you can get pumpkins, you can get mums, you get, you know, apple cider while you're there, caramel apples. This is just an amazing scent. It's just gorgeous. Um, it is a second time returner, I think, to the catalog. And I know it was um, one of the, I think it was the harvest scents a couple of seasons ago. I believe this is in the fruity category. Let me just get there. Yes, Bright Cider Life. Spiced Harvest Cider um, comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. It's fantastic. If you have not tried this, add it to your list to try. That is Bright Cider Life. Everything fall. And who could not go to an apple orchard without seeing the caramel apple? So caramel apple craze. This is one of my all time favorite scents from Scentsy. And it is gorgeous. You get that apple, you get the caramel, and it's just blended well together. I love this. It's time for me to warm the caramel apple craze. So, um, Caramel Apple Craze is in the fruity category. It's creamy golden caramel, or caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla. Invite you to be a trick-or-treater again. And it is amazing. I love it. One of my all-time favorite. Caramel Apple Craze. What do I got left? So, fall is... Um, hoodies and just sweaters and, you know, cozy and warm. And that reminds me of cashmere and corduroy. Fantastic for the fall, those cold nights. This is just a beautiful, like, bedroom scent. And it's kind of like cozy cardigans, like older or younger, I guess, younger, flashier sister. Because it's a little, you hear me trying to pop that out. Um, cause I feel like it's brighter and bolder than cozy cardigan. So this is, I believe in the woods category that was new to the catalog last season and it returned. Wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot and cashmere saddle sandalwood. It's beautiful scent great for the bedroom. Like I said, with the cold weather, wet, cold weather. Oh my goodness. Um, the cold weather hits at night. Just wrap yourself up in a blanket. You're in a hoodie and a sweater and warm cashmere and corduroy. All right. Uh, last, actually I have two more scents. Um, I actually skipped this, but this is an all time favorite. I think this would definitely go with the apple orchards just fall and I usually get this in a brick so I don't have the bar but I have Johnny Appleseed these are how I store my bricks I'll chop them up if you don't know what a brick is it's a it's about a pound of wax you get them through um, primarily Scentsy Club you can order or um, that sometimes they have limited time offers but Johnny Appleseed is just it's just a fantastic, strong apple scent. It's a great mixer. It's great on its own. It's definitely fall all the way. So Johnny Appleseed is actually one of those scents that's year round in the catalog. It is in the fruity category. And it's just picked Macintosh Pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear and I don't really necessarily get the pear in this but you definitely get like the apple peels and apple it is gorgeous it's great to mix with any most of these scents and then last but not least of the top 10 pumpkin chai 
when I think of cold nights around the bonfire, I think of warm and cozy drinks and def definitely like a pumpkin chai. And it's so good. It's so pumpkin. I think this is in the spice category. Fill your cup with white pumpkin, a swirl of cinnamon, and a dash of chai. So I heard somebody compare this to Bath and Body Works white pumpkin scent. I think it's better because I have that candle and I think this is way better. It's fantastic. So I would highly recommend pumpkin chai. All right, and then I do have an honorable mention because those are my top 10. So the honorable mention is the September scent of the month, Gimme Candy. I would be highly surprised if this does not make it into next year's catalog. It is fantastic. It is like butterscotch, candy corn. It is fantastic. I know people are loving to mix this with everything, uh, like Johnny Appleseed to get like a candy apple. You could mix it with um, Graham Cracker Crunch because I think that's fantastic with like the peanuts and the candy corn kind of mix. There's so many things you could mix this with. It is fantastic. And it is so fall and it's very Halloween. <laughs> which Halloween is part of fall, right? So this is available September 1st, Gimme Candy. I, I feel like this is going to be a best sale, best seller, sorry. So there is my top 10 fall scents. Um, you'll know what I'm warming in my home. Let me know what your top favorites are um, it, that are current with the Scentsy catalog. Thanks for watching. Um, if you don't already, please like, please subscribe, and I will catch you on my next one. Thank you.